Hello, my name is Sander and this is a tutorial on how to make a laser effect in Apple Motion. I've never made a tutorial before, but I'm making this one because I myself spent hours and hours looking all over the internet for a laser effect for some of my movies. And I realized that there are not only no places to download a free laser effect, but there are also no tutorials on how to make one yourself. There was in fact, one YouTube video by FreddyTK420 that he, he made a test film of, just tested his laser effect that he made, and in the description of the video, he told you how to make it. But, I thought, that's just a little writing description thing, I want to make a video tutorial. So that save other people some time. So, to make the laser, the first thing you need to do is get a muzzle flash visual effect. Best place to get a visual effect, always, is Detonation Films. It's a really, really great site. I've got pretty much anything. Explosions, stuff, but for this we're going to need a muzzle flash, and you'll need a side, just a side view of a muzzle flash. That's all that really matters. And so once you've got your effect, go into motion, with the file, blo file browser, find your muzzle flash, right here, drag it into the viewer, and Find the muzzle flash that you like. That's a good one. At the end point. Alright, so now you've got your muzzle flash, go into the inspector, scale it down a bit, and move it over to the side. So it's right, right on the side. Okay, now you've got your muzzle flash, and now you go into the library to make the actual laser. Go into the content, basic white, and take the white square PSD. Put it right there. Cover the whole thing. And now we're going to make a mask on this. Just a very skinny rectangle. Oh. Now I noticed that there on my muzzle on my muzzle flash there's a little it's slightly lighter than the background. So, just to fix that, you can go to color correction and add the contrast filter. Add the contrast filter. And then, the inspector just contrast up a bit. And that should get rid of it. So, now you've got your white square we're going to make it open up the scale thing and make the Y really tiny. Like practically nothing. One or two. And then on the mask part, put the feather up. a little too skinny and a little too long. So I'll go to the X scale, make it longer, and make it shorter, and then 
make it a little fatter with the wine. Oh, sure. That's good. So now you move it, go to your muzzle flash. First, on the layers part, move the white square under the muzzle flash. And on the muzzle flash, you right click and go to the blend mode and click screen. Okay. Now, take rectangle mask and put it right over it, or under it, just so it's kind of in it, right on that frame. Now, this is why we're doing it in motion instead of Final Cut Pro. You could do it in motion, you could do it in Final Cut Pro, but you just have to mess around with keyframes instead of this, which is very simple. Just go to Add Behavior and Throw. And that, if you open up the throw velocity, and depending on which direction you go, just move the X. If you're only left, make it negative. Move all the way to the left and here. If it's moving right, make it positive. So we're way, way, way up. 6,000, we'll try that, see how it looks. I don't think it's fast enough. I'm going faster. Just a bit. 6,500. better look if you... That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, so now you have your basic... basic laser. Now you can, just to make it easier to change the color, when you put it into Final Cut, you can take the muzzle flash, add filter, Desaturate. There. Now it is black and white, and we can export it. We will export it to wherever you like, call it whatever you like. I'll call it laser effect tutorial. Laser Effect 4, just because I've done it before. Um, and just right in that folder, that's good. Export. And now, we will go into Final Cut Pro. Uh, 